What's good, everybody? N.W. Piper, and I uh, got something in the mail yesterday, and it's Watch City Cigar, Watch City Slices Tobacco. And smoking it in my Savinelli Sienna, and this is a 510 KS right there. And I do enjoy this pipe. Um, this particular pipe, um, I got uh, around Christmas, I believe it was, and uh, had to send it back because it had a weird crackling thing going on with the stem. But they uh, checked it out, sent it back, and said it was good. And it hasn't been a problem since. So it's been a great pipe. So watch City Cigar Slices. Um, pretty much like every other blend that they put out, it's incredibly good. It's a Kentucky Burley, Virginia uh, based tobacco. And this is going to sound kind of odd, but. The, the first thing that I notice about this particular tobacco is when you get the tin note of this and you guys go ahead and let me know that I'm crazy, but what I smell is tangy manure. Now, how could tangy manure ever smell good? I don't know, but it really does. Um, now, that's just the tin note, you guys, for me. Um, I guess you could say it's got that dried fruit um, a smell to it. But tangy manure is what really sticks out to me. And uh, like, I don't know if you've ever, you know, you're driving in the country and you go through a, a field of cattle and, you know, sometimes that can smell that, I guess, earthy uh, type smell is, is what I'm getting at there. But it's tangy. So the taste that really floors me on this particular blend is the floral notes. There is notes in this that are really, really floral and kind of sweet. Not sugar sweet, but like... Um, kind of nectar sweet, I guess. And, and I guess nectar is a bit sugary, of course, but, but you know the sweetness that you get with flowers. That's what I'm picking up in this. Very floral. Um, and I don't know where that's coming from. Uh, perhaps the Kentucky, but um, uh, maybe, maybe the Virginia. And you do get that grassy note in this as well, but. Now, they say they put a rum flavoring on it, but I'm not getting any of that. I don't get any rum in this. So this isn't like a rum bomb by any, by any means, but. I'll tell you what, the floral notes in this is really good and pleasant, super pleasant. Um, it 
as far as harshness, tongue bite, nicotine, to me, this would be like on a scale of one to 10. I would say, that's my dog. If you guys hear a bunch of breathing in the background, it's my dog. But I would say it's a solid five. It's just perfect. Um, it's it's not strong. It's not harsh. The burly in it is there. It's noticeable. But again, I'm picking up just a crazy amount of floral notes. And I don't know where that's coming from. Um, but it's incredibly good. Smooth. Uh, watch the cigar and um, very happy with it but you know um, like others have said you probably shouldn't make a decision on how great this is um, off of my review of it or um, until you've actually smoked it yourself for for you know a week or two maybe can't think of anything as floral as this before except for maybe um, uh, St. Bruno I believe is uh, what what I kind of what I kind of would compare it to but again there's that dark Kentucky in there or that Kentucky so um, St. Bruno has that floral note to it and that must be from the Virginia now that I think about it. So, um, anyways, this is incredibly smooth. Once again, perfectly balanced and blended. That Kentucky is, is perfect. And, um, yeah, I highly recommend it if you guys haven't had it yet. So, um, not really a review, just as I just got this in the mail today and, uh, or yesterday and, uh, wanted to share it with you guys. It's, it's, uh, it's a delicious blend. So other than that, I still haven't bought that 320 yet. Looking to pull the trigger on a camouflaged 320 this Friday. So... I don't know, change my mind. 320 camo or Oceana, Lucite, just straight black acrylic. Mm. I wanted to get the camouflage because I haven't seen many of those on YouTube and they look kind of cool to me. So, anyways. Hope you guys are doing well. It's kind of interesting. I was watching Lester um, and uh, Aussie E. Piper and just looking at all the rain they're getting where they're at. And here in Oregon, in the States, we're dry as a bone. Which in the summertime, we do have nice weather, but we still get quite a, a good amount of rain, even though it's summer here normally. But it's just been dry as can be. I don't know if you can see my backyard there, but those trees are torched. Anyway, watch Sea Cigar. Uh, watch City Slices. Give them a try if you haven't checked it out, and I'll catch you on the next one. Blessings.